Mountain at My Gates by Foles. The song's in standard tuning and it starts like this. <laughs> We have four chords here, but we're only going to play the A, the D, and the G string. So we're going to play a D minor. So we've got 12, 12, 10. So what we're going to do here is use this fleshy part of our finger right here to mute the B string. We're going to be careful with our right hand just to hit those middle strings. Okay, so we're going to play that chord there, D minor. Then we're going to move that back two frets to play a C major. So we're going to keep that position, but the middle finger is going to come down to nine on the E. So that'll be sorry, nine on the G. It isn't E. The E note isn't E, but I was confusing myself there. Right. Then we've got then we've got a B flat, so move that position back two frets. Back up to the C. So D minor. C major. B flat major. Back up to C. Back to D minor. C B flat. Play a G minor, so we've got five, five, three. So that's twelve, twelve, ten, 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 nine, eight, eight, seven, and then five, five, three. So those are your chords. Right hand wise, we're going to keep strumming. So all of the work really is in the left hand by bringing it on and off the string. So if you're not sure about that muting technique, um, search my channel for muting lesson which I did the other day, about three days ago, and that will show you how to do that. But those are the chords. Um, one other note that I will make is, every now and then he sticks that little G in there. So what you're gonna do there is just bar the A, D, and G string on 12. And that will give you that extra little note in there. The other guitar is playing. So we've got 17 on the G, 18 on the B, and 15 on the E, and we're playing with the right hand. Then we've got this lick. So, D minor pentatonic shape, and we are on the D string, 12, 10, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, back to 12 on the A. So that is, that's the first part. Then, 12, 10 on the D again, 12 on the A, 10 on the A, back to 12 on the A. So that's... Then, back up to 12 on the D, back down to 10, 12 on the A, 10 on the D, 12 on the A, then we're going to jump to the G string and play 10, 9, and then 10 on the D. So, all together. So 
the second part of that riff is the same start as the first. But instead of coming up to, we're going to play the tenth fret of the A string. So slowly all together. first half. Next bit. Next bit. Then we've got a slightly different chord progression. Start with the B flat major chord. We're going to play one note of the C, then we're going to come up to the D minor, then down to the C again, then we're going to come back down, but instead of playing a G minor, I think we're going to play a G major. So Again, that's B flat, C, D minor, C, G major. Then we're back into the regular chord progression. And then we've got that over the top as well. Then we have a solo. So again, D minor pentatonic shape. On the B string, we're going to play 10, 13. So that's four times. Then we're going to slide from 13 up to 15 and back. So. Then on the G string, 10 to 12. So again, that's four times. Then we're going to slide from 12 up to 14. 12, 10, down to 12 on the D, so that slowly. Then on the A string, 10 to 12. Three times. And then we're gonna play that part again on the G string, so. So 10, 12, 14, 12, 10, 12. Then again on the D string. So 10 to 12. Three times. Back down to 10. And then 10 on the G string. And we're just going to repeat that. So. So slowly, I'm just going to play through half because the second half is the same as the first. So slowly. finish it off we're just going to stay with those four chords so the B flat C D minor C 
and then G major. <laughs> We'll see you out to the end of the song.